53, no, 54, verse 13. Uh, where? What? Isaiah 54. Okay. Verse Isaiah 54, 54. Yeah, 54. 54, 54. Five, just a minute. Sir. No, no, no problem, sir. I saw 54. Verse 13. Okay. Just, uh... Yeah, yes. Yes. All your children mm. shall be taught by the Lord, and they shall be the, the peace. Of your children, yeah. Uh, is this not a very good way of finding out whether you are talking to a believer when you see, um, like their disposition to the word of God mm. and their willingness to want to learn? You know, so all your children shall be taught by the Lord, and grace shall be the peace. Of your children, I know. I know. He's speaking to the fact that when the word of God is living in you, no matter what situation you are, you will have the peace of God. Because yes. the Lord Himself said, "The peace I will give to you is not like that of the world." So what I'm trying to look at is: uh, is it not a good sign uh, to be able to determine that this is a believer? You know, like we always say that uh, when the word of God comes to a Christian, no matter the way it comes, it's never grievous. It's always... Yeah. yeah. So I just wanted to speak on it. But. I know thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and grace shall be the peace of thy children. Uh, sir, this, uh, this is uh, Isaiah 54, verse 13. Yes. Um... First and foremost, uh, this is addressed to Israel, first and foremost. But uh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a kind of a prophetic uh, chapter that, uh, that can be enlarged not only to, to Israel. In fact, one can say it is applicable also to the group that uh, Paul called the Israel of God. In, in Galatians chapter 6. Yes, and the Israel of God basically are the, are the are those who, who have known God okay. from various tribes and nations throughout yeah. the world. You know the way I used to say it, because you know, it's, a, it's like a reverse God of Israel, an Israel okay. of God. You see, okay. I used to say that these are the, uh, he's talk, he was talking to the two people that God chose, the two yeah. ones that he called Israel, the chosen one. Yeah. Not the one that said, ah, it's our God. Mm -mm. The one that God knows. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Yes, so the, for, for Christians who are the Israel of God, uh, in a way, this is applicable to them. There is a, there, there was a there was a discussion uh, we were having in our house at, either yesterday or day before yesterday about uh, about who is a Christian generally and the discussion was that if if you if you relate with a human being. Either he's a relative or he's not a relative, and the person does not tell you about his faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. During your during your during your discussions, it generally does not occur. It doesn't happen that this person will tell you. Uh, about his faith, his or her faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, it's almost certain that the, that particular person does not have 
have any faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the faith in the Lord Jesus Christ is like a smoke. In, in fact, in fact, generally speaking, beliefs, beliefs are like smoke, according to the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> yeah. Is it not, it, it, it not say you cannot cover that? In... You ca it cannot be bottled up. It cannot be bottled up. Uh, he, he said, uh, <coughs> from your mouth, from people's mouth, they shall be justified. From mm. their mouth, they shall be condemned. The, the issue is that people who are Christians, just like, just again, like Jesus Christ said, out of their belly will be coming rivers of living water. water. Living water is actually a venison, a venison for okay. God's word. Excuse me. Please, note where you stop, because I want to laugh. Okay, sir. You just said... With your mouth, you'll be justified. Yes. And with all of the, yeah. don't open the can of worm because <laughs> <laughs> you know why I'm laughing. Those words are not my own. Uh, yeah, I'm I, just I, quoting the Lord. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, you're quoting the scripture. <laughs> but the yeah. interpretation they meant to it is that if you say something good to yourself, hey, it will come. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Go on with your bro. Go on with the prophetic. So actually, you, you actually you are you are you are opening a can of worms. Hey, I'm, when, uh, you, when, when you said <laughs> it, I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> those ones, uh, those ones teaching those things. Um, they are not teaching what the Lord Jesus Christ taught. Yeah, I just don't yeah. want that thing to escape. So that if anybody yes. had you quoting that passage of the Bible, they say, hey. Those people we are watching said it that uh, by their mouth we will be justified. So when I now say something to myself, it is so. That's why I don't want it to. I don't want that one to be escaped at all. So no, I, actually, you you have done well. You have done well by by pulling me back. Uh, you being justified, you being condemned by what comes out of your mouth is uh, strictly strictly about what you say with your mouth concerning your faith in Christ. Ah, not what you say concerning yourself or that does it. Because I've, no, had, no, no. I've had people no. during prayer say, oh, by your mouth you justify. So you call good things to yourself. I've had them. <laughs> yes, those, 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 are, those are new thought, new age, occult people. Those are new thought, new age, occult ideas. Those are not... Yeah. Uh, those, those are not... Uh, those are people... Those are people who are comparing their mouth uh, with the mouth of God, uh, mm -hmm. giving themselves the erroneous impression that uh, whatever they say with their mouth will happen. That, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's witchcraft. That's witchcraft. The, uh, there's no created being that has that power. Okay. That is right. the hand. So when Christ said, with your mouth, you shall be justified. With your mouth, you shall be condemned. It is with regards to what you say concerning your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Okay. That you see, what we were discussing was this, sir. That if you have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, right, it will come out. You 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 generally will not know when when it escapes, so to speak, mm. from your lips, you, you, generally, you, you, you nobody, nobody has been able to get, you see, um, some years ago, some years ago, sir, I, I want to put this in on record. Uh, as a young person, I can't remember the name of the Christian organization, Christian, Christian group, in America, I, I'm, I'm putting it on record. And possibly when we when we produce this uh, video, I will try and uh, I will try and write it at this juncture, so that it will be a blessing to some people. Uh, we were we were we were we were young people, young young boys, young men, young uh, women, and so on, in various uh, fellowships in Lagos, Christian fellowships. So we were thinking of 
had we are thinking of the issue of marriage. So uh, in those in those days, uh, there used to be a few Christian bodies that used to broadcast to West Africa on radio. Mm. Uh, so one of those days, I can't remember the particular body. Uh, one of those days, this particular Christian uh, body was broadcasting on choosing a life partner, choosing a wife, or choosing a husband. So they were now discussing on the issue of how you know that your, this, is, this is your wife, this yes, is your husband. Yes, you're supposed to say the, uh, the person right. you are thinking about, how you know whether she's a Christian or he's a Christian or not. So um, the name, the name of the booklet, it was a booklet. They sent the booklet. They asked people, if you want to have the booklet, you should write to them. They will send you the booklet, uh, how to know God's choice for you, something like that. So I wrote, I wrote, and a few weeks later, the booklet came to me. Uh, the major, uh, the major word, the major topic in the book was that if you if you go out with somebody for let's say a month or two months or let's say even six months, you, and you cannot tell whether that person is a, a Christian or not. The truth is that he or she is not. Like that. If you cannot ascertain, if you cannot see proof, if you, you cannot yes, see you cannot assert. The, proof of the fruit of the spirits proceeding you from that. You cannot assert that, yes, I know. So, so person I'm going out with is indeed a Christian that more than 99% of the time, that person is not. It, it was, uh, as I said, uh, uh, when this video is produced, to the glory of God, I'm going to put those words because those words, I checked them over. I can't remember the, the Christian body. And if anybody, if this thing gets to America, some of these old uh, Christian people, if they get if it gets to them and they can they can uh, they can remind us of the name of that book. Yep. The booklet was not for sale. They were not selling it. Hmm. It wasn't for sale. I hope you get it, sir. That if you cannot tell whether somebody is a Christian. You, you are not sure well you, you are you are, if they ask you is your fiance or your fiance is she or she a christian and you, you are well i it looks it looks so like hmm. it looks so well, at times she sounds so uh, it is likely uh, i guess so hmm that the truth is that the person is not. Hallelujah. So um, it, it helped people like me to, to narrow down what options I had. It really, it really did. It helped, uh, it helped me to narrow down. When I, when, I, when I was getting serious, I was going to get married or something like that. If uh, after some time, if I relate with you for some time, uh, and I discover that Christianity does not feature in your thoughts, <laughs> uh, uh, I you remember. Quickly, you quickly move around, move away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I generally remember because I checked that what the, 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 the theory of that booklet was correct. Uh, it, it's correct because uh, you see, uh, yeah, you are not talking of a, a spur of a moment. No. When somebody is, but you are talking of after discussions, over discussions, over discussions, yeah. 
Yeah, you, you, you related see, with the person for for two months, for three months. Yeah, you because you see, because the, the what we discover was that around that time, unlike now, around that time, uh, a, a lot of people were coming to Christian fellowships, both male and female, who were not coming to seek the Lord Jesus Christ. They were coming to seek life partners. They already, they already have a determination that I must, I'm going to find a wife or a husband. Oh, in yes. This oh yes, yes, sir. Because because if you, many of them had realized, many of them had realized that if you are a if you are a young man, uh, and you 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 get yourself married to a Christian lady. The Christian lady is not likely to steal your money. Mm. She's not likely to beat you up. She's not she's likely not to like, plan evil concerning she's you. She's not likely to plan evil for you. She's not likely to do you evil. So, uh, since you are looking for, for peace, who else to pair up with than the Christian lady? It's the same thing for for ladies too, a good number of them were coming to fellowship, and there's a, there's, there's another issue, sir, because we, because we are this issue. Sorry that I'm expanding it. You know, it's uh, all right. Uh, it's, it's, uh, that is what God wants. You didn't yeah, know. Uh, you didn't know I was coming with that uh, Bible. No, I didn't know. It, you know so to His glory. So that uh, you don't have your own agenda. It's just no, agenda. No. That, uh, no. Because some of the ladies also, they have they had learned that if they got married to to Christian men, the Christian the, the, the Christian man is not likely to beat them up, and is not likely to have another eye outside. Is a is likely to be faithful in putting down money. To maintain the house, and uh, as at that time, generally speaking, generally speaking, Christian people were, were, were generally known for being hardworking. So a Christian man is likely to be a hard worker, whatever, whatever he was doing. So ladies were also coming to fellowship. That generally speaking, they were. They were interested in looking for a good guy to marry. So apparently, the people who sent the booklet, they were very much aware of these various permutations in Christian groups in America, and they wrote the booklet. That if you if you if you relate with somebody. On the casual way, well, whatever you are becoming friendly with the person, one month, two months, three months, four months, and you just can't be sure. If somebody woke you up in the dead of the night and said, that's your lady friend or that's your boyfriend, is he a Christian? And I you can say, not... you see? Yes. Yeah, he, 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 it appears, it appears, it looks like, I guess so, then the, the assertion is that the person is not. So what are we trying to say with regards to Isaiah 5413? What we are trying to say is that, generally speaking, Christians, they teach their children about God, generally. They, they generally teach their children about God. What, what you have in the Isaiah 54 first thing, sir, is not magic. I know. It's not magic. If somebody thinks that he's a, he or she is a Christian, are you with me? Mm -hmm. And the person does not discuss God with his children. The person is simply storing up Wahala, trouble for, for himself. himself later in life. Because the children, 
if you if you think and they think the other thing is that some people think that uh, where they are children they will learn from uh, by observation <laughs> no no christianity is not no, it's no, not no. A, it's not a physical science yeah. that you you go and perch on top of a hill yeah, and start are, uh, don't let's forget that yeah they will learn but you need to teach they need sometimes, to be taught. sometimes you do things and they don't know why you are doing it oh yes they don't and you know that uh, you cannot judge a book by the cover so if you allow no. people to so you need to teach to make sure you see we have something here on a on a secular thing yeah if for example you go to the factory and they are putting up this phone. Yeah. Do you know that out of about 2,000, probably you find one or two that will vary in the way they assemble it. That is uh, uh, the way that these people put together for uh, 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 people to be able to do things properly and rightly. I'm not saying, but do you know that those people putting those things there, they don't know what it is. Mm. They don't know what is the composition. They say, take one, take this, put it here. This. That's the only thing they will be doing. And if you ask him, why are you doing that? He doesn't know. So that's yeah. the danger of observation. Yes, they will be able to see. You see, you see, sir, sir. If you, if I think, I think it is in the book of Deuteronomy or so that God told the children of Israel that when they, when they sat in their houses, they were to teach their children His words. Yeah. When they lie down in their houses. They were to teach them his words. When they were walking in the field, they were to teach their children his words. Basically, everywhere they are, whatever. When position. they were eating, they were to teach their children his words. Because the word of God is so fundamental, really, to life and to godliness that. We should be teaching our children virtually every day. We should, we should, particularly as parents, one responsibility, one duty, every 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 parent has before God, which you cannot uh, delegate to pastors or Sunday school teachers, is teaching your child about. Good. Good. Yes. So, I know thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and grace shall be the peace of thy children. Yeah. Is generally based on that God will do his own part. God will do his own part by touching the hearts of our children. Yeah. But we, we as parents, we have, we, we have work to do. If we, we go back to... We duty have duty to make sure that we teach them. Yes, we have duty to teach to teach our children. There's no child, sir. There's no child. There's no human being really that does not face temptation. There's none. That's the greatest uh, sign that you are a believer when you face yes. temptation. And there, there's none that there's none that when I remember some of those days when our children were growing up, uh, uh, the first one was uh, was leaving secondary school uh, around the age of 15. He was uh, he was basically the youngest in his class, and uh, there were there were other uh, students that were three four years older. So, and uh, he noticed that people were having boyfriends and girlfriends. I hope you understand, sir. Mm -hmm. So, one of those days, uh, whether during their second time or so, he came home. 
he came home. Maybe, maybe it was his, with his mother they were talking. Uh, that uh, he too, he too was hanging somebody. You, 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 you understand? And uh, and uh, the mother now told me. So when the mother told me, the following day or so, I called him. Uh, he's a he's a boy. So man to man, I called him. That uh, I understand you. You two, you are having a friend now. Of course, uh, it was, <laughs> it was, uh, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was shocked. To, to you. Yes, it was, uh, it was shocked. And, uh, and I told him that in a very stern way that me, I am not the issue. The issue is actually God. God. The, the person you offend by get by by getting yourself yeah, into any hanky <laughs> into any hanky panky is actually God. It, it, the thing was solemn enough that I saw that my son, maybe for the first time in, you understand because this this thing was not about uh, about punishment. It wasn't. I wasn't uh, attempting to beat him or something like that. No, it was it was simply to draw his attention to the fact that uh, if, if if anybody commits any any hanky panky, it is God the person is actually offending, and you sure will not like God to put you among his enemies. I, I want to say I thank God until uh, I, 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 I got to know that the, the message actually hit home. Amen. The, the message. So, is, is we, we, but imagine, imagine if I had such kind of story and we now converted it into, into a jest and say, well, uh, uh, he's in the he's in the final year of uh, SSS three, I what they call it, and uh, everybody was having his own uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, and uh, is he going to? Uh, uh, that is their time. <laughs> you you see, parents generally by being cavalier with sin, the children will get the impression that. It is okay to offend God. It will not. It will not. It will not hit them really. That offending God is not something you toy with. And uh, I want to say, you know, God is very good. All of these things that we are talking is based on Isaiah fifty-four thirteen. Yes. If people become very careless, as far. As God's word is concerned. The promise of God in Isaiah 54, 13 is not applicable to them or their children. It, you, you, you cannot be cavalier with sin and your children. And you said that God has said that peace shall be, grace shall be the peace of your children. <laughs> Without taking, without doing the part that you needed to have done. Yes, yes, yeah, that is happening. People are cavalier with sin. They they toy with sin. They they do they do not give the children the path they must not uh, 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 tread. Tread. They they don't give them that. No, look, 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 young man, young lady. On the way. We must not offend God, though. Whatever we do, please, 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 whether whether I am there or I'm not there. Hmm. The issue is not my presence, because the children were actually in the boarding house, and my children all went to boarding houses, basically, from the time they left uh, primary school. So uh, I wouldn't be there. And my presence is actually not the issue. The issue is the presence of God. Of the omnipresence. Is the omnipresence of His Majesty. 
And that is the person we must not offend. So whatever little we can do as uh, parents, that has to form a, a, a very important part of our duty to our children so that when they fear God, when they understand the fear of God, you see, there's one thing that I like to say. This Isaiah 54 13 is part of confirmation of God's goodness to his people. Yeah. That he's going to give you peace. He's going to give your children peace. He is, God is going to do that. But, but that is if your children, because that the, the, the word of God is actually consistent to, the word of God is consistent in a, throughout the Bible. If your children, if your children are actually fornicators, or they are actually uh, thieves, or Yahoo people, people that actually defraud other people, you must not go and start quoting Isaiah 54 uh, verse 13 and say that, <laughs> that and say that great shall be the, the yeah, peace yeah. of your children. No. Sorry, sir. That is uh, some of the little things that I want to say in that area.